So I would love to just get your perspective yeah. on that. No, no, I appreciate you uh, you open that up for us. Um, I guess one thought is that um, I think time frame really is important. So if you're running a business, um, you know, the next month or two is very different than the next three to five years, mm -hmm. right? So do what's important, right? So for most uh, companies, a cash flow is crazy important. So uh, if you really want to be a leader and make it about somebody else, make it about the company and actually have people follow you, um, you can't be so self-centered to think like, what's my agenda and what's important to me, right? So for example, you know, there's might be uh, training and development type stuff that you have planned, but right now, if you're having trouble paying rent, that needs to take a backseat. So I think one is understanding time frame, right? So short term, long term, I think that's really critical. Um, I think also a very interesting way to think about it is um, there was one person who said that strategy is like having a portfolio of options. So while you might have had like the brilliant plan on Excel like two years ago or six months ago, right now it's probably not a bad idea to have a couple of irons in the fire and be really smart about seeing which one of those is working. Right. So rather than planting a whole bed full of corn, like now is probably a good time to plant, plant some corn, some peas, some okra and some tomatoes and then kind of go with it and see what's working. Because honestly, I think there's so many changes that are happening with the consumer that no matter how good your like marketing and research is, I mean, honestly, the chance of you being wrong in the next six months is really high. So I think it's a little bit around having a portfolio of things, gauging it very close, getting a lot of feedback from your customers and, and not being, uh, you, you, this is a bad time to be stubborn.